The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to make coupons inside of Microsoft Word. So what I've done here is just started a particular coupon set to show you what yours should look like in the end. The first thing that you should do is take a look over on the tabs of the top of the ribbon and click on insert. The next area that you're going to look in is the text group and you're going to highlight the text box and click it. When you select the arrow, go to the bottom and you'll notice that you see draw text box. Click that. Now you have this black cross arrow. Left click, don't let go and drag the size of the text box onto the page and release the mouse. At this point, if you take a look over on the top of the ribbon, you'll notice that you have something that says Drawing Tools and there's a Format tab. Look over in the Size group. What you can do is change the coupon to the desired size. In this case, I'm going to make the height 1.5 inches and I'm going to make the width 3.5 inches and I'm going to press Enter. Furthermore, I'm going to determine what is it that I want this particular coupon to say. In this case, I'm going to say something like, good for one free sandwich. And I'm going to press enter a couple of times, and I'm going to enter the expiration date. And in the middle, I'm going to just add some type of notation, such as, one coupon per person. The next thing I want to take a look at is being able to modify or format the look of my text. So what I'm going to do is click on the Home tab and the next area I'm going to look in is the Font Style group because I'm going to double click on this, actually that was a triple click, onto this particular area just so that I can highlight the text that I want to change the font color for. The first thing I want to do is to change the color by hovering over the font color area and clicking the drop down. I'm going to select the color red. Furthermore, I want to change the font. So I'm going to come up here and click on the drop down. And I'm going to change the font to this particular look. And because I want the font to be larger, I'm going to look in the font size box and I'm going to select, it looks like maybe 14 font is going to be good enough for this. The other thing that I do want to do is look in the paragraph area because it is my goal to center the text. And then the next thing that I want to do is center this area also. And then so after triple clicking that, I'm going to go back to the paragraph group and click on center again. And for the expire state, I'm going to select that area so that I can click on the drop down. And I'm going to make that a size 9. So at this point, I'm pleased with the way the text looks so far. So the next thing that I want to do is to make sure that the squares and the circles at the top are present on my particular text box. I'm going to look at the top because now I should still see the drawing tools and the format. If not, I need to click the text box in order to activate the squares and the circle. At this point, clicking on the format tab, I want to change the outline of the box to indicate that it should be cut, that this coupon should be cut. So I hover over the shape outline area and I click. I'll notice that there is an area that says dashes. So after hovering over it to the right, I scroll down. And in this case, you can choose any of these dash styles that you desire. So I'm going to choose this one. When I look at it, I can't see it too well. So I go back to shape outline. And in this case, I'm going to select weight because that's going to actually separate it to give me that more pronounced look. So I'm going to click on two and a quarter points. The third thing that I want to change is the color of the outline of the text box. So I'm going to go back to shape outline and click. And this time I'm going to change that border to an orange color just so it's noticeable. On the inside of the shape, you have the opportunity to actually format that as well. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click inside the box and inside of shape styles, I'm going to highlight shape feel. After I click that, I notice that I have the color orange available here. So I'm going to select it. And now I want to add in some type of image that goes along with this coupon just to kind of liven it up a bit. To do that, I'm going to click on the insert tab. 
going to clip on, um, I'm sorry, I'm going to look in the illustrations group and click on the clip art icon. And in this case, I'm going to, you see that I've typed in sub, I'm going to change this to search for sandwich. And then I'll press enter. And when I start looking at this, I don't see anything that I like so far except this one looks pretty tasty so I'm going to click on that one and when I look at the picture it doesn't fit nicely so I start to put my mouse on the circle and then I just left click and I push in until I get the size picture that I want and that's kind of small but I'm going to move the picture up a little bit and because my text pushed off the screen in the text box I'm going to click in a blank area and press delete key on my keyboard just to pull that up a little bit and sometimes it may not have the look that you want so you may find yourself actually pressing enter and then clicking right above this line and what you can do is decrease the size of that space. So I'm going to go down to a 5 and I'm going to hit enter and you see how that brought that up and for this sandwich I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger it didn't have such a nice effect so I'm going to take it off so in this case you get an idea of what this looks like in terms of the sandwich I move this over to the right side just to give myself a little more room. Still doesn't have the look that I want. So you have to keep playing with it just to get that feel that you desire. So in this case, I'm going to click on the picture one more time. I'm going to turn the sandwich at an angle because that's something that you can do. And if you're pleased with the overall look at this point, you're really done with creating your coupon. So what I would recommend is for you to just move it up towards the top so that you can start duplicating this coupon. One way to do that is to just click on, make sure that particular uh, text box is activated. You can go in and click on copy from the home tab. Click on copy. And now over here to the right, you can right click and then just select paste. And in this instant, what you'll notice is that you're getting a duplicate image of that coupon itself so that you can move it where you desire. Let me undo that for a second because I made an error there. So let me tell you that one more time. So in this particular case, what you do is you click on that particular coupon, click copy, and to get it to go over to the right, just go back to the clipboard group and click on paste. And now you're going to have the ability to align it the way that you want. 